Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five product and services idea you can build on top of ChatGPT. If you are familiar with GPT and maybe you're an entrepreneur or maybe you're about to start your first business or thinking of ideas to start your business, ChatGPT and OpenAI is the new platform to build anything on. And it is very promising because we're still in early days and which means that there's no oversaturation quite yet, which means there's a window of opportunity, but that window of opportunity is not gonna be available for, for very long. So I'm going to be sharing with you five ideas you can build. But before I share that, I just wanna give you some context as to why this is very very important it is very important because whenever there's a new revolutionary technology which chat gpt slash open ai is one of them i mean when we're thinking about technologies like blockchain technology or cloud services or even the internet you usually will have a lot of companies trying to build on top of this new platform or this new technology and that's how you have to look at it in this in this context so for example, when you think of cloud services, you had major services like you know, uh, Amazon Web Services, you had you know, Azure from uh, uh, Microsoft that really were able to build a billion dollar companies off of that new platform or off of that new technology. And when you think of blockchain, which is one of the more recent technologies, you're thinking of Solana, you're thinking of Ethereum, you're thinking of Polygon. So these are companies, you know, multi-million dollar companies that were built on top of a new platform. And we are in the age of AI and lots and lots of seven eight figure businesses will be built on this platform so here are some ideas that you can use to start thinking about and of course implementing to build your next business the first one is what i call prompt engineering so prompt engineering is a very very interesting problem in the case of ai and basically prompt engineering is a process of designing and constructing natural language prompts for conversational AI. And the idea is to create prompts that are very clear and concise so that you can get the type of result you're looking for. So AI will not give you a good result if you don't give it good inputs. So the better your input is, the better your output is. So think of prompt engineering more like creating templates to perform certain tasks with an AI. And there'll be a huge business of people who will be able to create templates to help anyone else do certain things with AI. And you know, the more complicated and complex the tax you're trying to accomplish is, the more you will need very specific and clear directions for prompt. So prompt engineering is gonna be a huge thing. There will be services, just like coaching services for prompt engineering. There will be templates that people will be selling, just like how you can sell you know, a website template or a Notion template there'll be a service and a business around this. So if you are interested in thinking about how to give AI proper direction, this is definitely a business idea. And this is a very, very simple one you can use and you can start monetizing this already. The second idea is a platform that creates customized chatbots that are ready to go. So imagine a scenario where you are a company and you need a chatbot that is in the maybe restaurant space and is managing customer orders. Now, in the future, there will be a service where you can go to a chatbot the creation platform, if you will, and you will put in some variables about your business, who you serve, what the parameters are, and it will create a very ready to be made chatbot that you can integrate into your platform that will easily be able to communicate at the level of chat GPT relative to your own business. So that will actually be a huge service that people will be able to use to create and spin off, you know, uh, chatbots quickly on the fly for different areas uh, and functions in their business, for marketing, for customer service, for lead generation, for, you know, a whole bunch of different tasks. And someone who is able to create a platform that you can easily use to spin off this, uh, you know, this uh, this top sort of chatbot uh, based on the, on the parameters of a company and then tie that back to all the capabilities of ChatGP, that'll be a huge and massive business. The third one is e-commerce. So basically what I mean by e-commerce recommendation platform is imagine a scenario where you want to buy um, a, a product. So say for example, you want to buy a laptop, for example. Now, right now, the option for you know, buying a laptop will be you would go to Google, you would try and search and do some experimentation, or you would try to uh, uh, find out what the features of the different products or different laptops are based on your need, based on what you're trying to accomplish. Are you a developer or are you just a casual user? Are you a writer? So you have to do all of this research yourself. And that research is actually painstaking, it's, it's very painful 
helpful and sometimes you might not even be sure because of all the technical terms around the world of laptop and again this problem applies to many situations i mean you could obviously go into the store and speak to an expert but when it comes to certain types of product like say maybe uh, if you're trying to buy a perfume or if you're trying to buy makeup or if you're trying to buy some materials that you really don't want to take the time to go talk to an expert, but you still want to get the very best. AI can actually be a solution here. And there's an opportunity for you to create a product or a platform that will take a user's input. Let's use the example of you're trying to buy a laptop. It will ask you, what do you want to use a laptop for? How frequently are you going to be using this laptop? Um, you know, uh, what's your level of competency when it comes to, to laptop? What brand do you lean more towards? And it will ask all of these questions from you, and then it will use a platform like ChatGPT to search through all of the data around laptops, and it will give you some very good recommendation based on your preferences. So there is a huge space here for AI-powered e-commerce recommendations. We're able to use the power of AI and simplify the process of someone trying to search for a specific product on Amazon anywhere and then use the power of AI and machine learning to give them the exact information that they want. This is like a next level to Google because technically you can do that on Google, but what Google will do is it will give you a whole bunch of different websites that gives you all of this comparison, which might still be you know a lot of work for you to search through. So if you're able to provide an abstraction, it's a platform that really makes that process easy and simple. You've got a huge, massive product on your hand. And imagine a scenario where you go to Amazon or you go to any platform and you're able to just put it a few inputs and you're able to get a whole bunch of you know recommendations that are simplified and dumbed down for you and makes that choice easy for you that's a huge business opportunity right there the fourth one is ai powered health care diagnosis tool so imagine a scenario where a doctor is trying to make a recommendation but they're able to combine the power of ai based on your health condition based on your uh, your, your medical records and based on, on your data as a patient and a doctor is able to use that information to then make recommendations and give you a prescription or to you know diagnose what you're dealing with and this is going to be more in the medical space but this is a huge opportunity again not an easy idea to implement because it's a whole layer of complexity to it but we're definitely moving into the future uh, of doing that where ai is going to be a huge part of the medical diagnosis diagnosis process and we are definitely at that cusp and this is a huge opportunity for a business to really implement a platform like that. And this is a multi-billion dollar company uh, idea. So imagine a scenario where you go to your doctor and your doctor is able to pull in your medical records and able to pull in all of this information and then they're able to then take in your symptoms, put into the system, and this system will give them, based on all of your medical history and data, the most likely things happening to you, and they're able to give you more accurate diagnosis of your problem. So that's a huge, massive business opportunity right there. And now our idea, the last one we'll talk about is AI language translation tool that can accurately translate text between multiple languages. So we're in a global world right now, and one of the challenges right now is sometimes language barriers. Now, there are a lot of solutions and tools out there, but AI can take that to the next level. And think of this in the term of, you know, if you're familiar with the, style, the, the world of Star Wars, and you're thinking of protocol droids like C-3PO that can really translate you know, thousands and hundreds of, you know, hundreds and thousands of languages uh, and help you communicate with someone else even though they are speaking in different language, AI could be the next thing to help us do that. And this will help, you know, if you're able to solve this problem and you're able to build a tool that uses ChatGPT to abstract, um, you know, language conversation in real time, then that will make, you know, conversation translation super easy. It would make doing business with somebody in China or doing business with someone in Brazil super easy because you can just jump on the phone and while you're talking, this AI is able to translate in real time everything you're saying to their language and then translate everything they are saying into your language and makes commerce business super super easy so again this is just some of the ideas five ideas here to help you get started if you're thinking of ideas of how you can use ChatGPT, OpenAI uh, to build your next business. There's a lot of opportunities out there. And personally, in my business, I run a marketing agency. By the way, my name is David Oasi. I run a lead generation marketing agency where we help coaches, consultants, and agencies generate leads on demand. And we are actually building a platform. It's called Lead Genius. And this platform is going to be using AI 
to help build and start conversations on LinkedIn and automate all of that process. Right now, we use you know, appointment setters to have those conversations, but we're actually building an AI tool that will allow you to have and hold conversations at a high level contextually with your own offer and understanding your own offer and be able to basically sell on your behalf ai will become your salesperson so if you're interested in hearing more about this product and this service we are building go to lead genius so l-e-a-d genius g-e-n-i-e-u-s uh, dot ai and check it out by the way if you like this video you want me to keep talking about the intersection of ai and marketing subscribe like this video let us know your questions in the comments and i look forward to hearing from you soon